98% humidity this morning. You can sure tell. Morning, folks. Now let's go check these beaver traps. Well, my sticks have been snapped. Don't see them down there, but I bet I have one there. Check that here in a second. And that's really kind of strange. Huh. That's really strange. He didn't go down the slide wire for whatever reason. Not sure just what happened there, but he come up and around. Come up and around, got around this tree, and was able to pull himself loose. Well, that's a bummer. I'll have to reset that one and try again. Well, let's go back and see what's in this one. If anything, it might just be snapped. A lot of times I can see fur down in there. I can't really tell. I didn't really like the angle this trap was at. Yeah, I think I see fur. Right there on the edge of the ice. I got either a beaver or might be a muskrat. I'd uh, kind of bet not muskrat. Well, let's see what I can do here. Oh yeah, that's a beaver. I need two hands to get him out of here though. Cool, one down. And one missed, unless he's the same one.
Okay, that one's all set again. The angle is kind of hard to see it, but uh, the trap is kind of set at a slope like that. It looks like the run goes right under here. And this fella, he's not huge. I'm guessing 35, maybe 40 at most. Probably closer to 35. Oh, we're going to set this other one here. camera fell over. That's not so good. <laughs> okay, so oh, this could be able to Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so anyway Okay, so that's in there. The only thing I can think of is why that beaver wasn't at the bottom of that is that maybe the, uh, the slide wire, if the slide wire was uh, above water level, it might have got ice on it and maybe it didn't slide. This isn't working out. My caster's kind of frozen.
The other thing that might have happened is that wasn't in there very deep. It might have caught him on the belly hair and when he wrapped around that stick it just pulled it right off. So I'm down a little deeper now. That trap was probably six inches deep instead of three or four. And as before I got a little dab of uh, caster right there. This stick, let's see, zoom out again. This stick and that stick it just kind of funnels them into place. Uh, my chain goes from the trap over the top of this stick, so there shouldn't be anything getting in the way of him sliding down it. No, well, we'll leave it alone and see what happens. Maybe we'll get him in this one again, but once you snap them like that, chances of uh, <laughs> chances of catching them in that spot again are pretty small unless it's a different one or a really dumb beaver but most of the time they're pretty wary they uh, they learn pretty quick and if that thing spooked him at all he won't come back to that spot but he might go back into that den where the other one was or up underneath that bank so wait and see anyway got one I'm guessing there's probably several here out of the river there's just no telling there could be one there could be half a dozen pretty day with all this ice and fog but it not very warm not very warm at all I think I'm icing up a little bit here and it shouldn't be at this temperature but anyway Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Got a beaver to skin. See ya.